today's video, I've already drawn the joints on the shoulder and the hands, and we're gonna start off with the foundation. Today, I won't be using a BB cream. Instead, I'm gonna be using a foundation which is much heavier than the one I normally use, as you can see. Once I've applied it along the main parts of my face, I'm gonna blend it out, especially on along the jawline. You want to try and make sure that you don't have any lines. I'm also gonna be going over the lips as well, just to block out any color, since later on, we're going to be layering colors over this, just to make it look a little bit more fake and doll-like. I'll also be going over the eyebrows and then after that I'm going to be using a contour powder and I'm going to be going underneath the jaw but I will not be bringing this anywhere near the cheeks or anywhere along the cheekbones. We just want to keep this to the jaw. Now that that's done I'm going to be taking a primer and applying this all over the lid and then blending out with my fingers. If you don't want to use your fingers go ahead and use a brush instead. Once that's blended out, I'm gonna be using a blush for the eyeshadow, or if you have an eyeshadow which is a similar color to this blush, you can go ahead and use that. You want anything which has a bit of a pinky brown tone. And then what you want to do is try and imitate this shape, which is going to curl from the outer corner of the lid all the way up to the inner corner of the eyebrows. So go and replicate that on the other eyebrow as well and blend out those edges. And then after that, I'm gonna be using a pink cream on the inner corner of the eye. I'll be using my fingers, but again, you can use a brush if that's what you prefer. Blend that out and try and make sure that it's a little bit more of a vivid pink than the eyeshadow that you've already applied all over the lids. Then underneath, I'm gonna be using that contour color that I used along the jawline and try and get that as close to the lashes as possible. And you want to layer that color up and the aim is to make yourself look pretty darn tired. We're gonna be using a browner color just underneath the eyelid. And the easiest way to do this is to try and squint into the mirror and when you get a natural crease, apply that color and then blend the color up especially in the inner corner of the eye, just underneath the tear duct. I'm gonna be doing that on the other side of the eye as well. Well, not the other side, the other eye. Blending that out and then doing a line along the crease on the upper lid. A bit more of a dark brown on the inner corner on the lower lid. And then back to that blush, you want to try and get this right on the apples of the cheek. If you're not sure where that is, just try and smile and try and do a really exaggerated smile. And where you're going to see your cheeks bunch up on the higher part, that's the apples of the cheek. You're also going to bring that down to the very tip of the nose and make sure to blend this out, otherwise you are going to look like you have a cold. And then I'm going to take a lighter foundation, put a little blob of that just on the very tip of my nose to highlight it and blend it out. Then I'll take a cream eyeliner and line just along the waterline all the way into the inner corner. Unfortunately for the next part my camera died on me so I didn't actually have a clip of this footage, but you see where I've highlighted around the inner corner of the eye. What you want to do is take a beige cream liner and then just dot around the inner corner of the eye, around the tear duct, and then just underneath the lash line on the lower lid. I'm also going to be using a black eyeshadow to exaggerate the wings on the outer corner of the eye, and then a liquid liner to individually draw little fake lashes on the lower lid. I'm also going to take a thinner brush and I'm going to tight line but underneath the waterline first. So first you want to get that color right onto the lashes on the underside of it, and then over that with the liquid liner to make that color really stand out. To exaggerate that shape even more, I'm going to take a lip liner and just on the inner corner underneath the crease of the eye, I'm going to line that and then blend it out. I'm also going to bring this colour around the edge of the nose as well, but you want to try and blend this up towards the end of the nose. You do not want to blend this colour out towards the rest of your face and your cheeks because it's going to drag the whole face down and it's not going to give it that exaggerated doll-like look that we're looking for. I'm also going to do this just underneath the nose as well and then I'm going to outline the cupid's bow, but I will not be blending that out. I'm also going to line underneath the lip. And this is the part that's gonna make your mouth look as if it's constantly smiling really, really fake. You want to draw that line on the outer corner of the lips and then blend it up. And that's gonna create a shadow that looks like you're constantly smiling like a Barbie. I'm gonna bring that color up on the lower lip and then I'm gonna do a bit of a C shape, a sort of sideways C shape on the upper lip and blend that color out. If you want to, you could also use your fingers. Like I said, you don't have to use a brush if that's not what you want to use. And then I'm going to be using a dark red and you can either go from the brush or straight from the tube and you want to try and keep this right along the centre of the lips and then also just on the arches on the upper lip as well and then blend that out. Before I move on to the next product, I'm going to run that lip liner through the eyebrows because it's got that ready undertone, it's going to make my eyebrows match my wig a little bit more. It's not going to be glaringly obvious, it will be subtle, but it's the little details that help. 
With that same cream that I used on the inner corner of the eye, I'm also going to go over the lips on the lower lip and on the upper lip. Blend them out a little bit, but not too much. You still want to make it look as if it's been drawn on and exaggerated. The same for the edge of the nose, and again, I will not be blending this part. And then I'm also going to add some lines on the lips before taking that lip liner again and drawing on some freckles. These don't need to be realistic since a doll look isn't really realistic, but you do want to blend them out a tiny bit so that they don't look very lazily applied. Then a bit more red on the lips. And you're also going to bring that up on the upper lip and again, curl it around like a sideways C shape. Now for the lashes, I'll be applying two pairs, some demi lashes, and those are going to be the first ones that you're going to apply, some thicker full lashes, and then I'm going to be applying some contact lenses. And if you're the kind of person whose eyes tend to tear up a little bit when you've applied contact lenses, just take a cotton bud, press it in the inner corner, and then that way you shouldn't have to remove any of your makeup or reapply it. I'm also going to go ahead with some mascara, and I like to just dabble it a little bit on some tissue to take off the excess before I apply the mascara, that way you don't get those massive clumps. Finally with mascara, I'm just going to take it through the centre of my eyebrows and then if you still have some clumps on the lower lashes or on the upper lashes, just go through it with an eyelash comb. If you don't have this, then you can use an old spoolie and just put some tissue underneath your lashes and brush through it. I'm going to add a few more highlights on the lips and then they're on the inner corner. And then that's it. You're done.